Now, India is today celebrating its maiden National Space Day. It was on this very day last year that we became the first country ever to land on the moon's southern polar region and only the four to land on the moon. ISRO is all set to reveal the thousands of images captured by the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover on the anniversary of Chandrayaan 3's landing while providing a sneak peek. ISRO has released pictures captured by the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover. The newly released images showcase various stages of the mission, including the Pragyan rover's first moments on the lunar surface. In fact, India's national space is also meant to highlight the significant role of the Indian Space Research Organization in the field of science and technology, the successes so far, and the challenges and goals ahead. And to tell us all about that is the man himself, Deepak Bopanna, spoke to the chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization, S. Nath. Let's listen in. India celebrates, uh, you know, National Space Day. You know, what do you think is the importance of the day? Landing on the moon has been an enigma for many. For you know, starting from the space age, the the fierce competition that uh, erupted early 60s to reach moon and then land human on the moon. You now that story is well behind us. Uh, and uh, over a period of time, the interest on the moon came down uh, across nations. But the, there is a new interest in going to moon. Every nation is trying to make it a point to reach moon. And that's why you have been seeing many missions happening in the recent times. The Russians, the Americans, the Japanese, the Chinese, all of them were going, sending moon, not human beings. They are robotic missions. So uh, in that context, the mission of India going to moon in the renewed interest of going to moon becomes significant. And for us, it, the significance came because that we were the first to land on the southern side of the moon, which is considered to be more scientifically of greater interest. So, and we were the first to do that. And we were the fourth to be on the moon on a robotic lander. So, and also it came to a, on a time then, then we were landing. There were other missions all trying to go along with us to go to moon and land. Many of them uh, were struggling. So in that context, uh, leaving behind our experience of 2019, not able to land softly, the event on 23rd August 2023 became an historic event for all of us. And you said the significance in many sectors, the importance and significance of this will be felt. First and foremost, in the minds of young people, students, researchers, and for them, uh, it's a confidence giver on the might of India to develop such capability, do it on our own uh, uh, will uh, from India based on technologies that were developed in India. Second, it gives every Indian a pride of being an Indian uh, craft reaching the moon and putting our flag on that, Absolutely. that gives you a second, you know, a pride. Looking at the scientific goals and accomplishment in that, it has been historical that the Chandrayaan 1 was the, the craft that identified water, presence of water on the moon, even after so many years of exploration of the moon. And it was the, the one, the remote sensing instrument on the Chandrayaan 1, an American instrument as well as Indian, Indian instrument found out the traces of water later corroborated by further findings. Now Chandrayaan-3 uh, is going to do that. But even Chandrayaan-2, you know, the OHRC camera was one of the highest resolution images ever produced on the moon, which was used by other agencies now. And, and the, the scientific... orbiter was functional for such a long time. Such a long time, yes. And Chandrayaan-3, of course, found out many of the scientific findings. Yesterday, 